This is a demo of entitlement management on the journey to zero standing privilege. Our first chapter starts with creating a new app instance. We will set up Microsoft O365. I opt this app instance into entitlement management by enabling the governance engine. Once I do this, I see that there is going to be a new governance section where I can see the entitlements, bundles, and policy for this app. This app supports out-of-the-box provisioning and entitlement discovery, so I will go set up that integration. Once authenticated, I see that the integration has discovered my licenses and roles for O365. We now enter Chapter 2. We know the licenses and roles that O365 supports, so we can use them to set up bundles or virtual roles for the app and the join or move or leave or entitlement policies. Here we are setting up a bundle. A bundle can contain a collection of entitlements that represent a virtual role in the app. Let's now look at policy. Policy is a collection of rules that determine which users should receive which entitlements. This helps you ensure that employees have the right entitlements as they join and move through your organization. It will also minimize ad hoc access that is so much harder to govern. I set up two rules, one for if the user is in the data department and the other for when they're in the IT department. The platform offers me the ability to safely make and preview my changes before applying them to all my assigned policy users. Entitlement management for O365 is now set up. Chapter 3 is where we can start leveraging what we have set up so far and assign users the right entitlements. I need to assign Camille to the app. I have the option to customize her entitlements directly or let the policy that I created run and determine what she should receive. These are the licenses and roles that the policy grants her, and we will check the sources of each entitlement in case over time she receives entitlements through additional sources. In Chapter 4, we look at how users can request entitlements to the app. First, as an admin, I need to create an access request to make the bundle that we created in Chapter 2 requestable by end users. Let's switch over now to our end user, Camille. She has some entitlements that she got through policy, but she needs some more to complete her current tasks. So she makes a request and provides her justification for the additional entitlements. After her request has been approved, I can go back into the admin console. I view Camille's entitlements and I can see that she got some licenses through policy and requested some additional. In chapter five, in order to drive better compliance outcomes, I have to set up regular certifications to test that the right users have the right access. As I set up the certification, I can choose to certify all entitlements and bundles or choose the ones of interest or high risk. After I launch the campaign, the reviewer will be assigned to users and their entitlements to review. The reviewer is also shown additional context about what other entitlements this user has and when they last access the app so that as a reviewer, I can make an informed decision. In this case, I need to revoke Camille's O365 step up access because the project is now done and she no longer needs the additional licenses and roles. Back in the admin console, I can now see that Camille's entitlements have been updated based on a certification decision.
she no longer has any of the licenses and roles that she requested and she only has the ones that were granted to her by policy. In the closing chapter, I can run a report to see all the entitlements that my users have in their apps and filter by application or entitlement. Thank you for joining me today on my journey to zero standing privilege.